Hello and welcome. It is Joseph, KD7QOW. So I'm at the bottom of Red Mountain here, here in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Usually this gate is locked, which is why I brought the uh, bike with me. Plan was to ride up this road, which is 1300 feet of climbing over 1.1 miles. It's not a trivial climb. If you come up here, plan on this gate being closed because I imagine that as soon as they have a chance to do something about this, the Forest Service will do something about this because it just keeps getting vandalized. Also, I don't want to drive up this road. I've ridden my bike up it before and it gets steep and narrow. Uh, there's still a chance I'll come across some patches of snow as it's only July 1st and there really isn't a lot of parking up there. This road is relentlessly steep, which shouldn't be surprising. Sometimes I'm struggling to find traction here. There are uh, big loose rocks in the tread. There's no place to take your uh, gravel bike. Well, if you have twinge tires it is, but otherwise no. Well, the first exposure is at about 1.3 miles of road in, and uh, we're about 800 feet of climbing, so 500 more feet to go. Oh, there we go, first patches of snow. We're at 4,700 feet. So I'm almost at the top. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind noise, but this is one of my favorite summits to activate. Uh, I'm gonna turn around to show you why in a second, and I'm pretty sure the wind's gonna take out the, mic the audio, but there it is. Now it's a nice lookout. And if I remember, the uh, bottom rails of this structure are actually the perfect sitting height. And there's nice, plenty of space to set up a radio an antenna. I'm actually very pleased that it's windy because that keeps the mosquitoes down. Today I am trying out the new CW key that I built. I have a new uh, iambic paddle. I made it a few different. It's a magnetic return paddle, but this time I have the magnets repelling and I added some. I wanted more resistance. I just like a little bit heavier feel, at least at this point in my CW journey. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, usually the gate at the bottom's locked, yeah. so I just, like, didn't want to take my chances that they might, like, lock it <laughs> behind me or something. What do you got going there, if you don't mind Oh, yeah, um, so this is, uh, an amateur radio. Oh, cool. Um, it's for, we have a little contest, well, it's not really a contest, it's a, it's a game called Summits on the Air. Yeah. And so, we take our radios, so we have these, like, little tiny radios up to different summits that are in like a database right. and then try to make contacts with other people that are somewhere else um either or people just... well you get extra points if it's summit to summit but anybody who has a ham radio oh really so i'm using i'm, I'm using morse code right now That's so cool. yeah um because it it propagates really really well so like um depending on what the sun is doing in the ionosphere you can get like propagation around the world yeah and we're at the top of the solar cycle right now, so the propagation's really good. But anyway, yeah, that's that's the, it's like, so if you get four contacts, you've activated the summit, and that means you get like, the this summit's like worth six points. So what did you, that's all yours? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, it all folds up and yeah. then, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. It's kind of old school. Yeah, it's Nobody fun. Nobody does that anymore. No, that's sort of the fun of it, right? Yeah. It's like, like, they didn't have radios this tiny back then, but yeah, kind of like, I can, like, you can also use like voice modes and this radio will also do voice. Yeah. It's just, that's not as fun. So have you made contact with anyone? Not today. Oh. But I, did, I haven't started yet. Um, I haven't put out a spot. Where are you from? Uh, Vancouver.
Um, this is, I've got, talked to 11 people so far. Oh my god. Um, and the farthest away was probably, uh, um, looks like Kansas. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fun. The best part about riding my bike up the mountain is that then I get to ride my bike down the mountain, which saves a lot of time. And with a view like this, who can complain? Furthermore, the amount of time that I saved by being able to coast down this hill meant that I could go and activate another summit today, which I'll cover in an upcoming video. Until then, 7-3, get out there and go play with your radios.